An unusually wet summer in parts of the country has created the perfect environment for a plague of cluster flies. Black clouds of the insects have been invading homes and there's no easy way of getting rid of them. Canterbury is one of the worst hit areas. From there, Keisha Brownlee reports. As the name suggests, cluster flies aren't often seen alone. Cleaned in here yesterday and this is all the ones that have just come in overnight. When you're dealing with an infestation, they can be overwhelming. Oh, they're disgusting and they leave just a mess. They just poo everywhere. <laughs> inside your curtain linings and all inside the walls and inside the door frames and the window frames. This autumn, they've been particularly bad. I don't think I've done a job other than cluster flies for the last five weeks. It's a bit annoying when they go up your sleeves and your whole suit's vibrating. What sets them apart from your regular housefly, other than the obvious, is their slow, dozy movement. They were first picked up in New Zealand in 1984, so they probably came in on a shipping container or, or in a shipping container because of this habit they have of trying to find somewhere dry and warm to uh, hibernate over the winter months. That's why they're being seen in houses, and with climate change causing wetter, warmer weather, we'll likely see more. They like moisture and they like heat and they like worms. The females will go and lay their eggs in the grass, the maggots hatch, and they'll crawl down through the soil spaces to the worms. Contrary to popular belief. They're not considered a filth fly, meaning that they don't actually go and eat on um, or breed in meat. Canterbury and Wairarapa have been hit hard this year. They're common in rural areas and this year also in town. And before you go cleaning them up with the vacuum... They've got an oily residue, which is the pheromones that they let off. It's quite sticky, and if you imagine hoovering up hundreds of thousands of flies a day... Your vacuum cleaner may not last very long. Preventative pest control is one I always like to talk about, because at the end of the day, that is your best pest control. So plug up any holes or cracks to stop them crawling in. Keisha Brownlee, News Hub.